Hey there, and thanks for joining me again. So today I just wanted to show you a really quick demo on a new feature in PC Demos called Execution Time. So this is new as of 2015. So what it does is it gives you a countdown when you're running your program. So let me just launch this and I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so let's just execute this. Okay, so I'm going to pause it for now. So you can see the time remaining there is 1 minute and 14 seconds. So you will need to have run your program at least once to get this countdown because it needs to, to calculate that. It needs to time it at least once. So the nice thing about seeing the execution time or the time remaining is that you can answer the question, when's it going to be done? Because we get asked that all the time. How much longer for this program? So you can tell them exactly now. Uh, the other nice thing is you, you can do other stuff. You can do other inspection. You can walk away if it's a proven program. Know when you can return. So it's really handy. So let's stop that. So I'm going to cancel this. And what I'm going to do now is a couple things. So I want to decrease or increase that speed from 10%. I have it at 10% there to 100%. So now it will calculate a new time based on my new speed. So this can also be disabled. So if we hit F5, Setup Options, General tab, you can see down here at the bottom that there's a checkbox, Record and Display Execution Time. So we can disable that if we want. There's also the option to add time. This is useful if you need to include in the cycle time, time for printing, time for loading the part. So it'll give you a good idea how many parts you can do for that day and what the cycle time is. Okay, so I'm going to uncheck that. I'll keep it enabled. But just remember you can disable this if you like. And I'll just click OK. Okay, so let's run at the 100% speed and you'll see how it will calculate a new time. So let's run that. And you can see it's a little quicker there. So that one minute time there will be updated. So we'll just let that run. Okay, so that's done. So now if we run it again, because it's recalculated the, the execution time, we should see a different countdown at the beginning. So let's run that. There we go. So you can see now it's at 33 seconds when it originally was a little over a minute when it was at that 10% speed, like a proving out type of speed. So now we know. So we have 33 seconds until that program is finished. Okay, so that was just a quick little demo. Just wanted to show you that execution time. A lot of people don't know that this is now available in version 2015. Okay, well, thanks for joining me and we'll see you next time.